most rare shark species in the world. Number 10, Megamouth. This crazy looking beast of a shark is a species of deep water shark found all over in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. There have only been 63 specimens ever sighted or caught as of May 2017, which is a pretty small number if you think about it. They are the smallest of three kinds of extant filter feeding, which is a form of feeding where food particles are filtered from the water through a specialized filtering structure, sharks. It eats by swimming with its mouth wide open and sifts through the water for jellyfish and plankton. They are incredibly distinct in looks, as you can see here, but beyond that, not much else is known about it due to the low availability of specimens to examine. They're brownish black with a white underside, and they have gill slits with tentacle-like gill rakers that are used in capturing their food. They're weak swimmers and grow to around 16 to 17 feet in length. Their mouths are giant reaching up to four feet and three inches wide, and they have tons of tiny little teeth. These guys are pretty cool looking, albeit a little scary, as you can see in this picture. And I hope they learn more about these neat creatures in the future, but I guess they're gonna have to catch some first. Number nine, the goblin shark. This rare species of deep sea shark is called a living fossil by many, and they are part of a family called Mitsukurinidae, which reach back 125 million years. They have very long, flattened snouts and jaws that hold some intense teeth that are very similar to nails. Coming across one of these scary beasties in the open ocean would probably be enough to scare anyone half to death, as they're between 10 and 13 feet long and look terrifying and unlike anything else. Typically, they're found in the Atlantic Ocean, but goblin sharks have been caught in all three major oceans. They usually eat teleost fish like dragonfishes and rat tails, but it also feeds on crustaceans and cephalopods, and sadly, they've been found with garbage in their stomachs. They don't pose a threat to humans considering they live deep in the water at depths far greater than 100 feet. We're not supposed to be around them anyway, apparently, seeing as all of the specimens we've taken have died shortly after. Number 8 frilled shark. This totally freaky looking shark is in the family Chlamydos lacidae, and they can be found throughout the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Typically, they're located near the bottom of the upper continental slope and outer continental shelf, although there is some evidence of upward movements. Their name comes from their gill slits, which look somewhat fringed or frilly in appearance. They eat bony fish and, at times, other shark species, but their food of choice are cephalopods, octopus, squid, and nautilus, which they use their long, flexible jaws to capture and their sharp, small, needle-like teeth to keep. They have eel-like bodies, flattened, broad heads, and a little rounded snout, short, rounded pectoral fins, and broad, large other fins. This shark looks a lot like a small, underwater dinosaur dragon snake, and I'm not entirely sure how to feel about it. I'll just steer clear, so I don't have to find out. Number 7. Sharp Nose Seven Gill. This here droopy-eyed creature is also commonly called many other things, including Perlin Shark, One Fin Shark, Sharp Snouted Seven Gill, Slender Seven Gill, and Seven Gill Cow Shark. They're in the family Hexanchidae and are the only living species of Heptranchius. The sharp-nosed sevengill is found all around the world in deeper waters, typically in temperate and tropical regions except for the northeastern Pacific. Given that they're sort of seen everywhere, they're still very uncommon. They differ from typical sharks as they're one of the few species that have seven gill slits as opposed to the more common five. These little guys, generally only like 2 to 3.9 feet long, although they can grow to be 4.6 feet, are quite aggressive, and if caught, will attempt to bite. They hunt invertebrates, crustaceans, and sometimes smaller fish, which they use their excellent swimming abilities to capture, and, typically, the sharp-nosed sevengill hunts and becomes more active at night. The creatures are generally pretty harmless to humans, and their little bites won't do much damage. Number 6. Speartooth. This here sharky shark is extremely rare and belongs to the family Carcharnidae in the river shark genus. They are only found in highly turbid, fast-moving waters with a whole range of salinities, which is basically just the saltiness of the water. Typically, they inhabit tidal reaches in coastal marine waters of various big tropical rivers in New Guinea and Australia. These semi-little guys have broad, short snouts, really tiny eyes, large serrated triangular teeth in their upper jaw, and spear-like narrow teeth in the lower. As for size, they generally grow to about 8.5 feet in length as adults. 
They mainly prey on crustaceans and demersal bony fishes and have adapted so that they can hunt in almost complete darkness. Sadly, they are listed as endangered and are so because of habitat degradation and incidental capture in recreational and commercial fisheries. Given the name, I don't know if I'd want to be in the same waters as these fellas. Although, they are kind of cute and inquisitive looking and look like we may be able to be friends. Number 5. Angular Rough Shark the sparkly little triangle you see here is a species of rough shark, obviously, in the family Oxynodidae, according to Wikipedia. The species was first described a long time ago, in 1758. It took until 1976 for the scientific community to finally accept the name as the official name for the shark, and that seems a bit ridiculous. The angular rough shark is a relatively small shark, as you can see here, usually coming in around 3.3 feet long, but there have been instances where they've been said to reach nearly 5 feet. What sets them apart from other rough sharks is the ridges they have over their eyes that can expand into big rounded knobs that are covered in denticles, which are just placoid scales. They're triangular and have flat little heads, blunt snouts, and long broad dorsal fins that look like sails from a sailboat, as you can see in this picture. This shark is one I don't think I'd be afraid to meet out in the open ocean. They just look so soft and smooshy, like a gummy. Or maybe I'm just hungry. Number 4. Small Tooth Sand Tiger this here good looking sharky is the small tooth sand tiger, also commonly known as bumpy tail ragged tooth. Sounds like we left the naming of this shark up to a group of first graders. Anyways, this shark is a species of mackerel shark that has a pretty patchy but still worldwide distribution throughout warm temperate and tropical waters. Typically, you'll find them down in the deep, chilling out with a bunch of rocks, like in this photo, which is the type of habitat they dig, but at times, they've been spotted in the shallow water. It's a decent sized beast, seeing as they grow to at least 13.5 feet long, but they are harmless to humans and have never been known to go after our sweet meat. Probably the scariest thing about this shark is what's most terrifying about most sharks. It's teeth. They have large mouths that are filled with sharp looking, projecting teeth like the ones you see here, that make this guy supremely intimidating. Seriously though, can you imagine getting your arm bitten and then trying to yank it out? You'd be left looking like you got attacked by a large, fierce cheese grater. Number 3. Pajama Shark So you may be wondering why this shark is called the Pajama Shark, or you may have used your own deduction skills and figured out that they look like they're wearing striped pajamas. They're a species of cat shark that calls the coastal waters of South Africa home. The Pajama Shark is pretty easy to spot in the wild. All you gotta do is look for their dark, parallel, thick stripes that run the entire length of their body. They also have little heads and two dorsal fins that are found pretty far back on their body. These little, and I mean it considering they only grow up to 3.6 feet long as seen here, fellas and ladies are big fans of making snacks of cephalopods, like the chocolate squid, fish, and invertebrates. Wanna hear a kinda cute fact? When they feel scared or threatened, they curl up in a circle and cover their heads with their tails. So sweet, but not something I'd expect from a shark. Okay, I'd swim with this one. It's like a little water puppy. Number two, basking shark. Whoa, what a crazy mouth. After the whale shark, these guys are actually the second largest living fish in all the seas, reaching lengths of 20 to 26 feet, although some in the past were caught at lengths of 40 plus feet. You can find them in all of the world's temperate oceans and at times enter brackish waters, which is water with less salinity than seawater, but more than freshwater. They're often spotted in proximity to land and they seem to like to hang out in bays with narrow openings. Freaky. No bays for me. Check. They are filter feeders and tend to feed near the surface, appearing to bask in the warm waters up there, which is where they draw their name. They swim around, mouth wide, and filter the water for plankton, which is their snack of choice. They are harmless to humans and unaggressive, passive really, and that may be due to their brain size. Out of all shark species, they have the smallest weight for weight brain size. This shark's jaw size can reach widths of 3 feet 3 inches, and they have tiny hooked teeth. They're scary looking, and although they pose no threat to humans, I'd still take a note. Number 1. Bahama Saw Shark Hmm, the tool face looking shark you see here is typically found between Cuba and the Bahamas in western central Atlantic Ocean. They are actually the first member of the saw shark family to be described that's from the western hemisphere. Little is known about this shark considering it's very rarely seen and they're some of the most threatened sharks on the entire planet. These guys feed on crustaceans and fish from the seafloor and unlike most sharks they tend to form schools and in my opinion that's pretty cool. Obviously they're named what they are for a reason and I think that the reason is pretty blatant right? Can you see it in this picture? They have a flat, saw-like snout, just like every other saw shark out there, that makes up less than one-third of their total body length, as you can see here. They have no anal fin, two dorsal fins, 
caudal fin, pelvic fins, and pectoral fins. Overall, this guy is pretty intimidating, and I hope that we find out more about it in the future. As you can see, there are some pretty cool shark species out there in the world. Did any of these surprise you? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And be sure to watch out for more videos coming your way soon.